The Buffalo Bills have replaced John Brown within their receiving core with a veteran that's been around the NFL and has been successful on multiple teams in multiple schemes. Emmanuel Sanders finally finds himself in a offense with Brian Dayball that I've wanted to see him in, a scheme that I've wanted to see him in for a very, very long time. Brian Dayball, of course, coming from New England, you know, was in that offensive meeting room within that coaching staff that nearly did sign Emmanuel Sanders way back in 2014, way back in 2013. And finally, Brian Dayball has landed Emmanuel Sanders. It took him a long time. It's past Emmanuel Sanders prime. But what I'll say about Emmanuel Sanders is he will give you a very nice complimentary wide receiver. A player that can play outside, a player that can play inside, a player with versatility. He doesn't have the quickness. He doesn't have the speed. He doesn't have the suddenness that he used to have, but he's still a quality possession receiver. He's still experienced enough, savvy enough to make plays underneath the defense and break the odd tackle, get the odd first down, score the odd touchdown. Manuel Sanders was very productive for San Francisco on their way to the Super Bowl last year. And his stats are better than you would have thought on New Orleans last year. And I think would have been better if Drew Brees was the quarterback the entire year. I am not a huge Emmanuel Sanders guy at this point in his career. I used to love Emmanuel Sanders. Like Emmanuel Sanders was one of my man crushes at this position, you know, a few years ago. But I think his play has dwindled. It's not the same as it used to be. Simply because the speed, the quickness, the suddenness, it's not there as much. I think John Brown is the better player. And I think John Brown is the better player because I think he's the bigger play guy. Yes, John Brown, with him, you're always dealing with more injuries. You're dealing with more inconsistency. You're dealing with, you know, more of a downfield target, more of a burner type. Manuel Sanders is more of a underneath type of receiver. So it's going to be interesting to see how they fit these guys in. But obviously, they still have Stephon Diggs. They have Gabriel Davis. Don't sleep on him, who maybe takes on more of that downfield element. And then you have... Cole Beasley, Emmanuel Sanders underneath. And I like Emmanuel Sanders in this spot because I think he gives Josh Allen another underneath target, right? So you can use Stephon Diggs more as the downfield target. You can use Emmanuel Sanders more as an underneath complement to Cole Beasley. In a similar way to how New England used to use like Julian Edelman and Danny Amendola. So because both of these guys have the experience of playing within the slot, you know, you can interchangeably play these players and kind of have them run the similar or the same route tree. At the same time, you can have Emmanuel Sanders line up on the outside, say Stephon Diggs misses a game. You can you can rely on Emmanuel Sanders to play that spot. You can rely on Emmanuel Sanders to play the X, the Z, or in the slot. So I think he gives a lot of versatility and I think he gives a lot of just comfort to an offense. He's not going to be a big play player like he used to be, but he's going to be a nice veteran presence that just gets the job done still. And we'll see. Maybe this year, you know, his play drops off significantly because I think it's gotten a little worse and worse over the last three years. But I wouldn't expect that playing with such a good quarterback in such a good offense. So Emmanuel Sanders to the Buffalo Bills. I also like the contract, very affordable for Buffalo. Let me know what you think about Emmanuel Sanders teaming up with Stephon Diggs and Cole Beasley in Buffalo.